The What It Takes Radio Company presents another episode in interesting ideas to help you connect with your audience. That's right. That's what we're all about, helping you make a difference in the world. And the final election day is underway, and soon we will begin to find out what has happened. And Joe Rogan made the news. What's that all about? And there's a story there. And then, with your permission, can I tell you a little bit about what might be very important. That is the story of the hidden hand. Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Stan, Stan the Radio Man, and we're here with uh, interesting ideas. Also from the Transformation Zone. And of course, we talked about the coaching experience. And we have a number of other programs that we're going to be bringing to you and hopefully be helpful to you as we move forward into 2025. Right now, it's just about one o'clock on Election Day. And so I've spent part of the day getting caught up on some of my thinking and writing and uh, broadcasting because uh, eventually uh, around uh, five, six, seven hours of the uh, Day will be done, at least here on the East Coast, and uh, then, of course, uh, the counting will begin. And, of course, uh, part of the situation is that uh, the uh, state of North Carolina, (laughs) the state that I come from, and then, of course, uh, Georgia, down to the south, and uh, then, of course, there is Virginia, right next door, and there is Pennsylvania next door. Well, uh, the early counting of the votes will begin on the East Coast, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if we have an indication of what will be. Some people think that uh, we might know more at uh, that time about who will be the President of the United States. Well, we don't know. (laughs) We really don't know. And so uh, I just wanted to take a few moments to perhaps uh, put before you some things that maybe we do know. Uh, some things that we may have learned, at least I have learned, and I hope they'll be helpful somewhat to you. As I said, I have prepared both my life and my business for whatever outcome there is. Uh, That's beyond my control, of course. (laughs) And uh, a number of the prayers that people are saying are, in effect, uh, you know, uh, thy will be done. I'm in touch with a number of those people who are having election time prayers. And of course, some of them obviously have uh, partisan uh, uh, references for either uh, Donald Trump or or, uh, Kamala Harris. But many of them are also prefaced by simply that statement, thy will be done, in which they are saying what will be, will be. And uh, uh Let us be in your will and in your goodness, and uh, let us know what to do. And that's a little bit about where we will go a little bit today. So uh, here we go. First of all, uh, it's rather interesting to me, who being here in the fake studio, and I am actually, as I've told you before, one of the earliest people to get involved in podcasting. Uh, I I saw it right away as a possibility, but for many years, it was nothing more than just a kind of a crazy hobby. Uh, That's all it was. And it was, uh, you know, I remember there was a guy named Joe Rogan (laughs) who was doing a podcast. Now, the thing that uh, I couldn't compete with him because uh, for some reason he was able, because he was a comedian and obviously a better marketer than me, uh, he was able to put out a podcast every day. And now, of course, does a podcast every day for three hours. And, of course, for most of us who had <laughs> had jobs to do, uh, that's a full-time business. Let me tell you, I've been in the business of doing three hours of radio every day. And that is a chore. By the way, That really helped me in life because you would not believe, as I tell people, even if you never broadcast a word, (laughs) but try it. What you learn by gaining a broadcast mind in which you are always looking 
more carefully at things, seeing things, looking for opportunities to speak or teach or talk, <laughs> entertain. Uh, what happens to you as uh, someone said, well, where do you come up with all those ideas? And I just simply say is they come to me all the time. I've got more than I could ever talk about because that's what happens to you when you get into the habit of always trying to be aware of what's going on, what's happening, what are people talking about, what can be interest. Those things kind of happen to your mind. And that's why my uh, course is not called How to Be a uh, World-Class Podcaster. Uh, my class, which we'll talk about next week, is called How to Be a World-Class Broadcast Podcaster. You have to have a broadcasting mindset. And the, the podcasting then follows by learning how to use this stuff <laughs> and how to put it out there. Uh, Joe Rogan got a head start on all of us. But the issue, of course, now is rather interesting to note that this has happened. Today, it was announced that Joe Rogan, yeah, guy with my haircut, a little bit younger than I am, but uh, he's just kind of a guy in front of a microphone, uh, had endorsed Donald Trump. And, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what? That's right. So what? You know, Oprah endorsed Kamala Harris. So what? Yeah, that's a good line to learn. So what? Well, the interesting thing, though, was that that counted, it seems, as much as Oprah in terms of the possible effect. Now, he is not a worldwide, you know, TV star for years. He's a podcaster. And yet, what we have been seeking to understand and perhaps sharing with you is the podcasting industry, the podcasting enterprise, doing what I'm doing will probably in a few years replace the traditional radio and television that we are now familiar with, which are broadcast from powerful transmitters over huge towers costing millions of dollars. And what's going to happen is podcasting is going to take over radio, streaming is going to take over television and cable, and um, that will be a very different world. Well, that's going to change a lot of things, but what it's going to change is it's going to change opportunities for you in terms of how you can communicate, how you can reach others, how you can build a business how you can uh, not only be a salesperson, an entrepreneur, uh, a person who's performing good work, you will have to be a bit of a broadcaster, a bit of a performer, perhaps a little bit of an entertainer. You're going to have to learn how to uh, be uh, <laughs> behind the microphone and in front of the camera. Uh, more and more, that will be one of the skills that we will have. To know. And remember, uh, Donald Trump may not win, uh, but he will come close. And he overcame a lot. But please keep in mind, Donald Trump was a uh, real estate broker and developer. That's what he was. But then he became a broadcast star. Uh, First of all, he said uh, he wrote a book. And as I often say, do what Don did. Write a book before you're 40. His book, How <laughs> the Art of the Deal, I think he wrote it when he was 39 going on to 40. And I'm always saying to young men and women, write a book. Get a podcast. Write a book. <laughs> uh, learn how to use the uh, broadcast, cable, radio, channels know how to do that. And today I'm uh, going to help two young people who have gotten a major project from the boss. And what's going to happen is they have discovered that it's going to require them to have a variety of skills on how to use the broadcast medium. And they don't have a clue of how to begin to do that. 
And so we're going to do a little bit of a crash course, and then I will help them because this is a major project, which is going to need some of the skills of broadcasting and television that I have, and they need to have if they are, are going to complete this project, uh, a public relations project, a, a educational project for a major organization. And uh, there we go. And I'm going to be grateful for the opportunity. And I think they're going to be grateful for the fact that this may really have helped them in their career. So I simply point out that's something that's going to be happening as a result of this election. Uh, we are going to more and more discover that the means of media is, is going to be very different. And uh, going forward, uh, that's what will happen. So perhaps that might be helpful to know. Obviously, it'll be interesting to see because the uh, election has been so 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 cantankerous, so bitter in so many respects. Uh, it will be uh, uh, because there are so many differences in points of view. It will give us some direction as to where uh, the country and perhaps the world is going to go. And some people will be very pleased with that, and others will not be pleased. It'll be interesting to see how we come together. Uh, over the uh, issues that not only uh, bind us, but of course, pull us apart. It'll be interesting to, uh, may maybe even a little bit scary to see what might happen. So I simply then point to you this. <laughs> All right, very simply. Um, I worked for many, many years to get a project going. and. Uh, it didn't happen, at least from my point of view. But all of a sudden, it did happen. And the people I had been working with to try and make it happen, they went off and did it with somebody else. I don't know why. Um, that was fine. And um, I'll be glad to be of any help to them. But one of the people who is very much involved in that said, Stan, I'm sorry, but I want you to know you were the hidden hand. Whether it'll do you any good, but to know is it happened because you kept at it. You kept telling. You kept coaching. Uh, you were the hidden hand that made it happen. And you may not benefit it from it in one ounce, but it's going to be good and it's going to be well done. And we're very pleased. Um, but the powers that be made other decisions, but you were the hidden hand. And I thought more and more about that. Maybe that's part of what we need to think about is that, uh, you know, the old line, uh, it doesn't matter whether I get credit <laughs> as long as I get a check. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of them. But it doesn't matter who gets credit. All that matters is that perhaps good things got done. And so may I encourage you just to simply uh, say a little prayer that goes something like this. God, uh, may I be okay in the difficulties and opportunities that come. If I'm called to be the hidden hand to make good things happen, let it be okay with me. And maybe I should even, uh, in a, a sense of that might be good for my humility to simply say, fine, uh, I'm open to being a hidden hand in many life situations where whether I get credit or get paid or anything like that, but something that I did, something about my hidden hand brought something good into the world. And maybe that's something that we should all think about as uh, the election comes to an end and the uh, new governance begins for our own lives and our own business, um, the prayer might be, Dear God, make me a hidden hand. Just five words. Make me a hidden hand. Best and blessings to you all. Thank you for giving me a bit of time. And uh, again, uh, peace be unto us all. Till next time, bye for now.